All right, everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome to the OEC Coaching Service. So this video is really about group coaching. It's a new thing starting in 2022. I'm going to be doing 12-week classes. That's three months. And we're going to meet on, I'm going to try to do this on Tuesdays. That, that may get changed, but either way, so we're going to meet once a week and uh, we're going to go down into various topics, putting on trades and reviewing trades. Now, it's difficult when it comes to group coaching from an idea of trying to fit everything in and being able to help you know, someone from the newest level of trading to a, a more advanced level of trading. And I may end up breaking these into two different groups. That way, you know, the uh, advanced traders are able to, you know, kind of divide it against newer traders. I struggled with a long time on the idea of coaching new traders, mainly because there's just so much for a new trader to go through before I thought they would be ready for a coaching session. But I've had a lot of people reach out and say they're new to trading, but they, they want a focused uh, path, right? They, they want a clear path to their education instead of kind of fumbling around trying to find their own way. And so, you know, after really putting some background to it i decided it really is possible to do coaching for newer clients or for you know for newer traders and it may seem odd it, it definitely seems odd to me that someone would want to have coaching when they're new but i do get it right but i've always been a like a, a self driven person I know where I want to go, and then I find ways to get there. So in the courses that we'll be covering, let's first just kind of back up for a second and talk about, you know, what you should do. If you're new to trading and you are at the bullish bears, then you really want to go through their basic stock courses, you know, and, and if you're wanting to day trade, then go through their day trading courses and their swing trading. And you know, they've got options and futures and candlesticks and broker setup. They have these things already, right? And then your second step would be, you know, working through the next level library, swing trading and options, advanced options and day trading again, you know, futures, scanners, candlesticks, performing technical analysis, you know, um, go through these things. But I've said that to people and, and they've really pointed out that there is a, a wide gap between the beginner education on the bullish bears and the next level education on the bullish bears. And perhaps, you know, the path to get there isn't always clear. And so I've had people just really demand this course. So I've put together the material and we'll be starting out in the new year. So this is kind of go through some of the things that we're going to be focused on so that you would have an idea of what it is. And this, of course, is not in uh, everything. If I was to try to list everything, it'd be an endless discord. But, you know, how to effectively use your think or swim, or if you're on trade of eight on futures, how to effectively use that. Me, I've been using think or swim for so long. It's just like using, you know, my own car. I'm so comfortable and I'm so familiar with it and I can make it do anything that I want it to do you really need to get to the point where you can use an analysis platform. It doesn't have to be think or swim, but that's the one that we would focus on because it does everything. It does everything. And if you can't use your broker effectively, you'll never be a consistently profitable trader. Understanding indicators. Now, we, of course, we wouldn't go through every single indicator out there, but I would be coaching you on one, how to find more information about any indicator that you want to use, how to find existing material on strategies that are already developed. There's no reason for you to go in and reinvent the wheel of trying to figure out, you know, how to use an indicator for a strategy. There are plenty, plenty of videos and educational content out there on any 
normal indicator that you would want to use. Developing a trade journal. And that one was something that I struggled with for a long time. But we need a journal. We need a way to be able to monitor what it is that we do and find ways to do it better, right? And there's, there's nothing better than review. Sports teams do review. Big companies do review. Small company, every, everything worth doing is worth looking back and saying, can I do it better? But how? You know, when it comes to various trading styles, our journal needs to change for what it is that we're trying to do. Uh, trade review is another really big, important deal. You know, looking back at our trades and identifying where things went wrong or could we have stayed in longer? How can we stay in longer? Should we even have avoided the entire trade? Market analysis, and that is like broad market analysis, right? The overall big picture. Because, you know, like Investors Business Daily talks about all the time, if the overall market is weak or choppy or, you know, damaged, then everything that we want to trade is going to be choppy or pulling back or dangerous or no trend. And we really want to adjust the kind of trading that we're doing based on the overall market conditions. So you have to have an understanding of market analysis and how to perform it, what to look at. Morning analysis, finding your opportunities on any given trading day, what kind of day is it going to be and what products should you be looking at and how to put that together. The What We Watch and Why series, which really is a broad outline of, to me, different indicators, you know, tick and trend, AD, advanced decline, those are indicators. Looking at the dollar and looking at the bonds, though, those are indicators. Or, you know, if I'm trading Facebook and I'm looking at, you know, uh, Twitter, you know, or if I'm trading Facebook and looking at Google, right? If I'm in Walmart and I'm looking at Target and Dollar Tree, that there's price is the best indicator out there. And if we're trading anything, we want to be looking around at the other things that are moving. Developing a trading plan. This is a, a real big deal. We need a trading plan. Everybody does, especially if you're someone like me and you're trading multiple products. I trade everything. Futures, Forex, Bitcoin, stocks, options, options on futures. I literally trade everything. So I need a trading plan. What is my account designed to do? Is this account you know, a growth account, a savings account, a trading account, a retirement account? What am I going to do with that account? Developing an education plan. And this is one of the reasons that I've advanced so quick, quickly in my trading career. I was already a college student when I entered the trading world. And in college, they taught us how to put together an educational plan so that I wasn't just fumbling around, bouncing from one interesting thing to the next interesting thing, that I had a clear path to reach clear goals and to take me from point A to point Z to where I was a new trader who didn't know anything to a, a person who quit his job, came home and trade full time for a living. And I did it in a small amount of time because I stayed focused with a clear educational plan. I am a pivot point trader. We of course would be digging down into what are pivot points and how we use them for trading. That ties in perfectly with price action trading because I read price I would much rather trade price than trade an indicator itself. Intros to options, advanced options, advanced day trading strategies, swing trading strategies. And then, you know, we're going to review a lot of uh, market behavior, trading mistakes, recognizing mistakes of others so that we don't have to make those mistakes ourselves, right? We'll get into um, technical analysis, analyzing various price actions, recognizing our risk, improving the trading. We'll do a deep dive into expected move, trade management, weekly strategies, so that even when there's nothing out there to trade, we always have weekly strategies. Gold standard strategies. This is uh, the phrase that I use for trading strategies that are used literally around the world. It was real eye-opening to me when I when it dawned on me that there are nations around the world that have options traders. And yet, even with all those different markets and all these different people and all their different math all around the world, 
there are some go-to standard trading tactics, things that don't change, things that are so good, there's no reason to change them and that they're literally used everywhere. Hedging. And, you know, hedging is a big deal for me. I carry a lot of trades, most of them long. I need to know that should the market take a hard, immediate dip to the downside, like what happened during coronavirus, that I'm not going to get hurt in all of these long trades that I'm holding. And I got to admit, you know, when the market takes a big crash, you don't see it coming. The bobbing heads on TV are always warning about, you know, we're going to we're going to go down, we're going to go down. There's all these reasons to be concerned. And the market just goes up and up and up and up. And whenever it does go down, the big crash that always shakes everything loose, it, it was never something that they were talking about, right? So we can't time a market crash. We need to just always be short so that if that market crash comes, we're going to get paid. Well, that's where hedging comes in. It's expensive to stay permanently short in a market that's bullish. And yet there are ways to do it where we carry that insurance, just like your car insurance or your house insurance, so that if something bad was to happen, you're covered, right? And it, it, just like your insurance, it won't cover you 100%, but it'll get you back on your feet again. It'll make sure that you don't get too, too badly damaged. But we, you know, various traders need various ways to perform a hedge. Not everybody needs the same kind of hedge. So we'll get into hedging and, and how to do it appropriately for your account size. Gamma scalping, advanced options, education, earnings plays. You know, a lot of people really love to play earnings. Well, there's a, a solid way and a consistent way to do earnings trades. Evaluating your portfolio so that you can recognize your risk. Tactics for various futures trading strategies. I like doing basis point trading and spreads and pairs. I like trading options on futures. And then I just straight up like trading futures. There's a lot of different tactics to that. And introduction to trading, right? This is the fast track to kind of get you moving in the right direction. And again, I really fought against doing uh, introductory coaching. And even, even in a group environment, just because that's not how I was brought into the trading world. I was brought in to do it all by myself and to get to a point where I was advanced enough to handle the advanced material. But after a lot of feedback, I have gotten to the point where I'm recognizing newer traders want to focus on a clear path and need help putting that path together. And so that's what this group coaching is designed for. Trade management, weekly options, advanced right? And it just straight up down the list. And it will get into, you know, generalized things like saving your work on Thinkorswim, setting up your Thinkorswim platform, learning how to, you know, save your charts, set your, your colors the way you need it. Even some basics on labeling and, uh, you know, some cloud materials so that you can more easily see the indicator that you're trying to work on. You know, a lot of the things that I develop as indicator material comes down to just adding a label. You know, it, it's just a way to be able to see a little more clearly a particular thing. A label, a cloud, just in some way, an ability to take an indicator and adjust it so that you can better and more clearly see what it is that you're that you're focused on maybe not writing a new code or or developing a new indicator just taking an existing thing and making it show you the information you want in a way that makes sense to you a lot of times this kind of work is very simple once you begin coding and think or swim, you'll realize it's really not that hard at all. We'll, we'll get into some of the basics of that just so that you can add a label where you need to or 
add a cloud where you want to, right? Or, or even just create an indicator where you don't have to go in and change the settings every time, that it's just set at the settings you want. So we'll be getting into momentum and trend. You know, it's, I get that question all the time. Uh, you know, is this a trending market? Is this a, a market with momentum? You, you need to be able to recognize those things uh, and how to quantify, how to state how strong that trend is or how strong that momentum is. And is it declining? Is it decreasing in strength or is it still increasing? Is it getting stronger? Breakout trading and trend trading. There is a, a statement that I hear all the time from people who say, well, I didn't, I didn't take the trade because it had already made a big move and I didn't want to chase, right? We're all taught, don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. But that's a trend trade concept, right? Because in trend trading, we see a market in a trend, we wait for a pullback and we get in on the pullback. We're always taught that we buy low and sell high. And that fits really well in a trend trade. But what about when it's a momentum play and it doesn't pull back, right? And that's what, that's the difference between a trend trade and a momentum trade. In momentum, we buy high, sell higher. We don't wait for a pullback. If you wait for a pullback, you're very likely not to see one. It's just gonna run away without you. We had that happen here in Apple where someone reached out and said, hey, it, it, it's breaking out of this angled trend line. This is, this is, looks really good. It looks like it's really gonna go somewhere. Should I wait for a pullback? No, no, don't wait for a pullback. This is a momentum trade. If you wait for a pullback, you're very likely not going to get one. So they went ahead and took that entry on the breakout and it worked out really good for them, right? Of course, not all trades work out all the time, but. You got to be able to quantify and state what it is that you're working on. Is it a trend trade? Then absolutely. We want to catch those pullbacks, buy low, sell high. But if it's a momentum play and a momentum breakout, you don't want a momentum market to pull back. And you shouldn't expect that it would. Right. And those that's where we buy high, sell higher. So we'll get into that and we'll get into so much more. And uh, hopefully this is a, a good uh kind of an introduction to group coaching. I don't exactly know the structure of it yet. You know, how many clients we're going to have in there at any one time, because I don't want it to be too full. I want to be able to answer questions and respond to people as they are working through the content. We're going to do it live on Zoom. There will be feedback back and forth that I'll be able to answer your questions and make sure that you absolutely understand what it is that we're talking about so that we can move to the next thing. Because you know, in trading, everything builds off of a very basic foundation. And that foundation needs to be very, very strong. If we jump past that very strong basics, then it's not strong at all. And nothing else that you do going forward would be strong either. So we will get into the broker first, setting up you know, your think or swim or your trade of eight so that you can appropriately use it and understand what it is that you're looking at. And then from there, we'll start digging right down into the rest of these things. So if this interests you, if you are interested in coaching, I, I really think that uh, 12 weeks is going to be more than enough. At the moment, it's going to be one week classes. It may end up being two a week just because of the advanced classes versus you know the introductory group. And uh, it's $1,000 per course, right? So every 12 weeks, the course will end. I'll take some time off and come in and, and re-up the course again. You can reach out to me, mike at bullishbears.com. That's my email address. Or you can just DM me or, or even just reach out on the Bullish Bears Discord, right? Just at me, at SIG. And give me a shout. I'll send you a direct message and, you know, we can talk more about the uh, group coaching. So that's it, guys. I appreciate your time and I look forward to hearing from you.